think I've ever done a, a, a movie that's that kind of cat and mouse game between two characters that, at least to this extent. So that was really interesting to me. And then um, the idea of working with Rupert, who's, um, um, some of, whose theater work I had seen before was you know, really exciting. I think for me, I thought it was a, a character piece led by you know, the depth of character acting. Um, and that really appealed to me, I guess, with my background in theater. Um, but I think also it had a lot to say about, <laughs> I guess, men in not, uh, you know, that, that age around 30-ish, 35, um, how they deal with shame, how they deal with their own sense of self, uh, narcissism, um, voyeurism. Uh, and, um, you know, for me, in, in a funny way, there's a slight kind of uh, noirish quality to it as well, where essentially there is a couple and then a femme fatale figure comes along and woos one of them away to a degree and uh, it just happens the femme fatale is um, bearded and in orange. <laughs> I thought that it would be great that we had this previous relationship because our movie, you know, True Story is pretty dark. Uh, there's no secret about that. Um, and that I think one of the things that Rupert did very smartly is um, put in, put Jonah and I in who, have, who are known for our kind of comedic relationships. And so even though we're not playing these scenes for comedy, there's just a little bit of a different color that comes into the, these scenes that gives it a little bit more life, takes it you know, a little bit out of like the unwatchable bleakness and more into something where audiences can engage, where they're, where they're not just turned away because um, it's so dark. I really, I just like really don't like this guy, but I'm playing him, and as an actor, you always, you know, normally you want to not judge your characters when you're playing them, um, and you want to align yourself emotionally with with what they're doing, so that um, there's no kind of winking or commentary within the performance while you're doing it, but. Um, with this character, I really found myself not engaging a lot and, and really, um, you know, I always read on set, but I think, like, I, I just remember myself on, on this set in particular, just like really just kind of rushing back to the books because I just didn't want to even think about <laughs> who he was. And, um, and then I, rea I realized that um, that was okay, that, Act the real Christian Longo just seems so out of touch with himself, and um, he presents himself. And that one of the most, you know, interest or I don't know, I guess interesting things about him, if you you know were to study him, is that the surface seems relatively normal, and that is one of the things that fooled Mike Finkel, and then. But behind that are all these horrific deeds, and and so that there, you know, the fact that there was a that I was disconnected from the character was kind of okay because that's actually how I think he operates. I think um, <coughs> I suppose in comedy you look to work with your partner a lot. You know, you, there are a lot of naturally comic dub double acts who have to work off each other and have to um, spark off each other at some level. Whereas maybe particularly on screen in, in more dramatic roles, there's something potentially a little more competitive. I don't mean between actors necessarily, but between the characters. And uh, this, this movie could have been all about testosterone and kind of locking horns and you know, intellectual mind games, of which there are plenty, but the, it's also about friendship, strange friendship, but real, almost sort of like soulmate finding each other. I don't know, there's, there's a lot of graphic novels that I like um, that aren't superheroes, uh, and Plan B has one of them that I wanted to do, and then um, there's another one um, that is taken, it was this uh, graphic, this is off the superhero question, but there's this graphic novel called My Friend Dahmer, and it's all about um, um, Jeffrey Dahmer in high school, because this guy, Dirk Backdurf, actually went to high school with him and he and he became this graphic novelist and wrote this whole thing about <laughs> going to high school with Jeffrey Dahmer and 
and he was a bit crazy in high school. And then 10 years after that, they <laughs> when Dahmer was caught, there they somebody called up the writer and they're like, dude, somebody from a high school just got arrested for, you know, all these murders. And he actually thought that it was another guy. He, it, it, like, there was somebody that I guess was like even crazier in high school. And they're like, no, no, it was Jeffrey. He's like, oh. <laughs> and um, anyway, I, would, I was very interested in that one. But um, I don't know. There's, there's some cool superheroes, I guess. It's just, how do you manage? I don't know. How do you, there's, I don't know. If it was the right role, I don't know. I couldn't name one right now.